Among the many things the CARES Act offered to taxpayers, there were some real perks and abilities to use your retirement plan. Lisa, I have all this money in my IRA. I need money at home right now. The CARES Act allowed me to take a little bit out, didn't it? Yes, the CARES Act allowed you to take a big sum of money out by December 31st, 2020. You could take up to $100,000 out. And if you're 59 and a half or under, you would not receive the 10% penalty for doing that. Right, because typically if you pull money out before 59 and a half, you, hit, you, get, you get smacked with not only taxes, but that 10% penalty. And now they also gave you the ability to pay the tax back on this money over the course of a period of time, right? Right, you, you can pay it back in the at one lump sum like normally, or you could pay it back over three years. All right, so if you took the 100 grand, you can divide it over three payments and pay the tax back over three years. That also makes your tax bill m right. maybe more, you know, easier to swallow, right? Um, they also said you don't have to take a minimum required distribution uh, for 2020. Is that correct? That is correct. Now, under the CARES Act, you did not have to take that distribution. And just to be clear, um, when if I withdrew that hundred thousand dollars, did I have to show proof that I was affected by Corona, or or is the IRS going to ask for some sort of identification regarding that? Yes, in order to take the hundred thousand out, you did have you do have to be um, impacted by coronavirus, whether you know you were sick or um, quarantined, couldn't go to work. Um, you would have to provide some type of proof. Right, that makes perfect sense. Okay, there were other relief uh, available as part of the CARES Act, and one of them in particular was to students and parents. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about that. Um, yes, yeah, so if you were a parent or a student and you had a federal student loan, um, you were able to defer payments all the way through December 31st, uh, 2020, allowing you to defer the principal and interest on your student loan. Um, one thing to think about, you know, when you go to do your taxes, you may see that your student loan interest is lower if you elected not to make your student loan payment, but, um, you know, it was providing relief for you when you really needed it. Right, and that's, uh, people should look at all that now, again, before the end of the year and figure out, I guess, again, whether or not your student should file his or her own tax return as a result too, because the, the deduction will be smaller. Yes, a lot of people are considering whether or not to let their college student file their own taxes, you know, if they worked a side job or were employed, because they may be eligible still for some of those education tax credits, and as well as a stimulus payment, possibly if they didn't get one. So Lisa, before I let you go, maybe just tell us about where people can go to on the site to figure all this out. I know TurboTax has a bunch of great calculators and things. Yes, to figure all this out, you could go to our coronavirus tax center. Our, we also have our self-employed coronavirus relief center. And we also have an unemployment hub where there's a one-stop shop for people that have been unemployed to help you figure out tax advice and tricks and things you could do by the end of the year to help you save on your taxes, as well as all of the hubs have calculators to help you um, figure out how to save money. It's good stuff and it's stuff that people should start thinking about because we are encroaching on the end of the year. There are some things you could still do before the, I guess the ball is gonna fall on December 31st. I don't know, it's 2020, anything could happen, but God willing it does and we flip to 2021. Um, but people should be thinking about this now so you're not caught off guard in April of next year. Lisa Green-Lewis, TurboTax expert, thank you so much for being with us.